What if there was a way to record your dreams and watch them like a movie once you're awake? Alexa, show me last night's dream. No, wait, Alexa, stop. I'll watch it in private. The idea itself sounds like something that you would see in a sci-fi movie, but scientists are already generating images from recorded sleep data. On top of that, because apparently scientists are curious human beings, they also manage to interact with sleeping people and change the course of their dreams. For a long time, this seemed to be impossible because we thought that our senses shut down while being asleep. Turns out we were wrong about that. Four labs were involved in showing that people can receive, process and even express an answer during sleep, which challenges the definition that sleep is a state in which the consciousness of the surroundings are practically suspended. There are a few studies where researchers tried to communicate with lucid dreamers while they were in this lucid state. In case you don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's when you're aware that you're dreaming while you're in the dream. This allows you to do all sorts of cool things like flying. Never managed to do that myself, though. Researchers tried to get responses from lucid dreamers by using lights, shocks and sounds because they thought this way they could enter people's dreams. But the scientists only recorded minimal responses until a couple years ago. In 2021, another study got published and the results exceeded everyone's expectations because it proved that we can communicate with people while they're asleep or at least in a certain state of sleep. The experiment was conducted by four independent teams in four different countries. There were 36 participants and among them were some lucid dreamers and some that never experienced a lucid dream before. The second group received training to also be able to recognize when they are in a dream. All participants were instructed to make horizontal eye movements during their sleep when they entered lucid dreaming territory. Their brainwaves were monitored the whole time to make sure that they are not pretending to sleep but are actually asleep. Nothing new happened up until that point, but once it was confirmed that people were in fact lucid dreaming, the researchers asked them to solve simple math problems like 8 minus 6, and the members of the study had to answer with eye movements. They had earlier agreed on a code as a way to communicate. What the scientists found was that the sleeping participants were not only able to hear them in their dreams, but also process the information and give a correct answer. Some people even say this might pave the way for companies to play ads to us while we're sleeping because there's not enough of that being shoved down our throats already and all of a sudden you wake up and really crave a McDonald's burger for breakfast. How is all this connected to recording and watching your own dreams? The results of the study suggest that external input can be received while being asleep. So you could record and play some audio and create certain images in your dreams while scientists monitor your brain activity. This is not even hypothetical, this was actually done. When falling asleep, we enter a semi-lucid state that is called hypnagogia, and during that phase it is possible to receive input. People were told to think about trees, and when they were later asked to report what they saw in their dreams, many of them mentioned trees. In the control group, people were saying all sorts of things, but no one mentioned trees. You could theoretically even try it for yourself. Do this with a large enough group and monitor their brain activity while this happens and you could reverse engineer the recorded data into images. This is exactly what researchers are trying to do currently and they have even seen some success. Scientists in Japan took three people and monitored their brain activity using two techniques. They used a modified MRI scanner to measure blood flow and placed the participants inside the MRI machine for three hours at a time. This was done multiple times over a span of 10 days. They also had an EEG machine attached to people's heads that can pick up electrical signals in the brain. The members of the study were woken up several times right after they had a dream and every time they had to tell the researchers what they saw. After that, people were shown pictures of the things they had seen during their sleep while being awake this time and still being attached to or inside the machines. The blood flow and electrical signals in the brain were recorded the whole time. Then all this data was processed with the help of an AI to compare the brain activity of people when they, for example, see a penguin in their dreams versus while seeing a picture of it when they are awake. The activity in the brain is the same in both cases. To verify that, researchers recorded data with the MRI machine and EEG while the participants were asleep and let the AI construct a video with basic images with the gathered information. Afterwards, when the scientists asked everyone what they saw in their dreams, the descriptions matched the AI predictions quite well. Here's a video of some generated visuals and I will leave the link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. But it doesn't stop there, there's even more research in this field. Our brain sends impulses to our muscles that make them move. And even though we're lying still while we sleep, our brains don't seem to notice and continue to send those signals to our muscles. 
This can be measured by placing electrodes on people's arms and legs, and that's exactly what scientists have done. They are trying to recognize basic movements like walking or shaking hands with someone. And in this video, you can see the signals converted onto an avatar. Researchers are trying to do the same thing with speech by recording movement of the lips and throat while people are awake and comparing the data to the impulses that were captured while asleep. But it's not easy to verify the data, so a lot more research is needed. For the moment, we are still a couple years or even decades away from recording and watching our dreams in HD resolution. But even this half-baked technology we currently have is quite impressive. Once we're able to generate accurate pictures with the mentioned methods, we will very likely be able to read people's minds. At least that's what I think, but what do I know? I'm not a scientist. Earlier I mentioned that you can try for yourself to alter your dreams in a specific way. There is a technology for that, Dormio. It uses a new method called targeted dream incubation that makes it possible to give audio cues during hypnagogia. This will likely make you dream about the thing you hear and it will also ask you to tell what you saw in your dream in that half-awake state. You might not remember your dream upon waking up, but you will have your answer recorded and can listen to it. This project is open source and the source code along with instructions can be found on GitHub in case you want to build your own Dormio. What do you think about engineering dreams? If you enjoyed this video, send an impulse to your finger to like and subscribe and maybe you'll also enjoy this video.